What's going on guys? I'm back home. This is my first hunt back and I'm at Walmart trying to find the Walmart exclusive Thanos and maybe some of the Infinity Wars uh, Marvel Legend Wave. I don't know if how I will like them in hand. I've seen the Iron Man and I'm kind of like bleh, but I really want the Taskmaster and perhaps uh, Proxima Midnight and I do want to check out that Spider-Man too and then any other deals they may have i am down but it's good to be back home guys thank you for following my coverage from the toy fair and coming along to vegas with me it was a great time i will have a small haul of that after this video i did not get as much as you probably think i did because it is expensive to travel out of state especially to new york and vegas so anyway guys let's go check out this walmart All right, guys so they have one Thanos left. Wow. I was here yesterday and they didn't have them. They got them today. And they still have that Iron Man. And um, let's see. They have these uh, the Marvel Punisher. Nine doll hairs. I'm going to ring it up just to confirm to maybe share this information with you guys. If you want to pick up any of the Marvel Knights, let's check it out. That's not bad. And books for the Marvel Knights. Um, they do have a bullseye, and I have yet to to grab them. I might just do that because he is a sweet figure, especially that head sculpt looks killer. But I'm so stoked! I got freaking Thanos. Great deal. Um, what else they got? They got Vulture, Tombstone. I got the, all of the BP wave here. Black Panther wear. And that's about it, guys. I don't see anything else too crazy. But yeah, score. All right, guys. So I'm here at Retro Madness, my home away from home. Since I got back into town, I was feeling like I needed to drop by. So Boston Mike, Mr. Boston Mike is back and uh, he's behind the counter, so we're gonna go see this guy. And we got the Wrangler, Mr. Daniel, just talk to him, he's here too. So let's go see what they have new.
right guys, so I'm back from Retro Madness and they had a ton of new stuff in, but I ended up picking up a couple of things. One was this random cowboy, um, G.I. Joe knockoff. <laughs> had to have them for uh, one doll here. So if you can see that, probably not. Got him just because it's stupid and I like stupid things. Um, the other thing I got was the NECA God of War Kratos. I finally got him. I was gonna pick him up in New York City but I really started thinking about space and all that jazz and uh, I got them for the same price. So thanks to the guys at Retro Madness, they hooked me up. Thanks guys. All right guys, so here's a little showcase of what I picked up and I also did a trade with Rube the Great and he picked up this Black Panther, uh, the power suit for me a while back. I opened him up and he looks freaking amazing. I'm glad I did not get the regular Black Panther because I like this one a lot more. I do have the Civil War, the uh, older Walmart exclusive one, and then the Toy Biz one. But I am loving this Black Panther and I love the um, the accessories it comes with for sure. So thanks Rube for that. I'm loving it. And then of course I got my Walmart exclusive Thanos and he looks freaking sick. Um, the figure is, I mean, this figure came a little loose for me, but that's okay. But from bottom to top, it is a pretty solid figure, and I love the uh, gauntlet for sure. It's a nice little touch. Now, this piece up here, of course, it is uh, it's a little loose, so just be cautious of that. But he is a great figure, very solid. And then Kratos. Gosh, I love this figure. I just opened him up and did some poses with him, but he looks freaking sick. If you do not have this God of War Kratos uh, by NECA, pick him up. You will not regret it. All the detail in the shield, his paint, his ax blade, all this, you know, he has some soft goods too on his belt and over his shoulder. Um, great figure, can't say enough about him. But pick them up, especially if you love uh, God of War and NECA figures. Pick them up. Do it. And then I haven't gotten around to uh, opening up Gwenpool. I got her from Ruby Great. And then I got this Paladin in New York City. So I have those two to open still. And then also when I was in Vegas, I picked up the Bucky O'Hare uh, Toad... Was it the Toad Soaker, or Toad Creeper, or something like that? I don't know, I'm gonna put a picture up, up above for you guys. So I picked that up, complete in box, in Vegas. And like I said guys, it was a light load, but the trip was awesome. And thank you guys for watching, thank you for coming along, and stay tuned for my next toy hunting vlog. Thanks a lot guys, peace.